Check this out. Check this out. All 95. Today we are joined by the Reserve Emirati Astronaut Sultan Al Niyadi. Thank you so much for joining us today, Sultan. And a lot of us uh, are definitely listening to the news. We all know that the UAE sp- space journey is only going to get more exciting in January of 2021, as the names of the next two astronauts that will be joining you are announced. Can you share with us some snippets of your current journey and preparation at the NASA program? Well, uh, first of all, thank you for having me. It's a great pleasure to be with you, especially with that time of celebration of the uh, National League UA. So as you mentioned, it's uh, a great, exciting, uh, great and exciting time uh, ahead of us. Uh, we're currently in Houston, we're, we're training uh, to uh, reach the level of uh, an operator for the International Space Station. Uh, after a successful mission uh, of Hazar Mansouri last year, uh, the UAE is seeking more uh, uh, challenges, seeking more uh, achievements towards space. Um, the UAE is taking very giant leaps uh, towards space. We have uh, uh, the Hope probe, which will reach uh, then two months to Mars. There was uh, another project uh, recently announced that uh, the UAE will be sending uh, a rover to the moon. We have our own satellites. As you mentioned, we'll be joined by two additional astronauts. So I think it's a very exciting time ahead of us. We're looking forward to uh, achieving more uh, goals uh, for the UAE uh, and the, the whole lane of the whole Arab nation as well. We're definitely excited to see where this journey takes you as well. But uh, a lot of us right now tuning in may be students, they may be Emirati youth who have always dreamed of going to outer space. Back in the day, this used to be a far-fetched dream, but with your journey as well as Hazza Al Mansouri, you've proved to the Emirati youth that this is possible. So and since this is your second national day away from home, what is one piece of advice that you wish someone told you when you were first dreaming of going to outer space? Well, it is, uh, first of all, it's, it's really challenging, but it is something that I was anticipating that I'll be away from home. Uh, I'll be uh, facing a lot of challenges in terms of the weather, the food, the language for example we were, we were in russia we had to learn another language so all of these challenges i think one word can probably solve it to, to overcome it is passion when you have passion you can challenge yourself you can achieve your dreams by uh, uh, keep going although you'll, you'll be uh, faced with a lot of challenges uh, but when you have passion i think you can overcome any challenge then uh, the responsibility that the UAE gave us. We are not only representing the UAE, we, are, we, we represent all Arab nation. After uh, 30, 30 years of, of, uh, of absence for uh, Arabs to go to space, uh, I think it was a big challenge for us, big responsibility. But those two, passion and responsibility, I think that was the main drive for us to, to move forward and continue our training. Wise words that we are hearing from Sultan Al Niyadi. Uh, Sultan, since you are currently in the U.S. and uh, celebrating the National Day, what are some pieces of your culture and heritage that you are introducing the world uh, over there to, and that you've kept with you even if you're far away from home? Yeah. Um, we're always uh, living as, as, a, as a community. I mean, uh, when we see other astronauts, be it Americans, Europeans, uh, Russians. We try to not only uh, exchange the, the passion and uh, our goals towards going to space, we also want what well, we want them to know about our culture, about our region, what sort of interest we have. So we always uh, tend to be uh, uh, generous with them when we invite them. So generosity is something that we want to, uh, uh, to propagate. Also tolerance, the UAE is always uh, uh, um, trying to, to, to be a, a leader in the, in the region for tolerance. So I think that was another thing that we want to uh, spread among uh, our, uh, our astronauts. So I think we have passion towards space, uh, tolerance and generosity. This is what we want to propagate among other astronauts. Thank you so much for joining us today. And we definitely wish you the best of luck on this special occasion and all of your future endeavors. Thank you much for having me. If you liked this episode of Future Talk, drop a like and subscribe. Be sure to follow us on Instagram for all our daily updates and top stories.